We all take too many precious things for granted, from having company to mobility. Many thousands of people feel lonely and isolated. Cherished memories of happy times gone by fade while the longing grows. Longing to be with people, longing to get out into and enjoy the world around us. Cycling Without Age Scotland is addressing that longing in a unique way for thousands of people in every part of the country, from the borders to our furthest islands. New branches of this pioneering charity are coming on board all the time, and such is the importance of what it does that right from its start in 2018, Cycling Without Age Scotland has been supported by the Scottish Government. The project itself is entirely different from anything else that happens in Scotland and its uniqueness is its main attraction. These trishaws can make anywhere accessible to people with any form of disability or mobility impairment. It gives anybody, any older person, anybody with mobility issues the chance to get outside. It's free of charge. They can book any time that suits themselves and they can also choose the location they go to how long they spend, what activities they either want to do or see. So, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It's lovely. It's nice to get out into the fresh air and you've got company. The most enjoyable part of it is actually taking people out into the fresh air, but also taking them away from the environment that they're living in. In here, we go to the woodland and looking at nature, smelling different smells, and just finding that one magical moment when you're there to bring back maybe childhood memories when they're at the park. It's just amazing. I feel I'm in a world apart. It reminds me of when I was a lot younger and able to go out into the countryside. Yes, that's what it reminds me of, getting out walking. I uh, felt like royalty, actually, waving to everybody and people waving to us. It's not just the lives of older people that Cycling Without Age Scotland enriches. It does that for anyone with mobility issues. I've seen such a change in Ashley over this period of time. The first few rides we came out, she didn't make any sounds. She just sat and didn't show very much interest. And then over a period of time, she started giggling and we got thumbs up and smiles and blowing kisses. And she's just become more and more vocal. There are so many pleasures for passengers that Cycling Without Age Scotland provides. We can have some residents who can be quite um, down in the dumps in the morning and just a ride around the village can make a complete difference. It keeps a smile on their face, so if they're happy, I'm happy. They just love being outside and the bike gives them the chance because it goes so slow. They get to look into the gardens, they get to see a lot of scenery that you wouldn't see if you were in a car. A lot of them love gardening. So when we go through Earth, especially, there's a lot, of, a lot of nice gardens there, so they enjoy that. People always stop to talk as well, and we, our residents are usually responsive to that. So that keeps the communication skills there as well, so that's always great. And it's not just the passengers who benefit. There's a lot to actually gain for the volunteer pilots for themselves. It's thoroughly enjoyable, great exercise, great company. This is a great opportunity to help out in the community and to really bring generations together, you know. To be able to, to see that you're bringing a smile to people's faces and to, to make a difference in their lives, it's, it's very rewarding. For me, it's, it's a pleasure and a great privilege. Without a doubt, our project can be summarised as being life-enriching, life-enhancing and life-extending. Fabidocious. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Pandabidozi! <laughs> Pandabidozi! <laughs>